take you into another world here for a bit. It might be a bit frightening, but so we're gonna look at this one family who lived in this one house. And the parents decided one night that they would leave the girl. Um, they were gonna go on vacation for the weekend. And the girl was frightened, you see. She'd, she'd never been in a home alone before, but she had her dog with her and she was, she was a big girl now. She could take care of herself. So that night she grabs a drink of water and then she goes up and curls up in bed with her dog beside her. And then all of a sudden she wakes up in the middle of the night. She's like, there's this tap, tap, tap sound. And she's like, what is that? And she's a little bit freaked out, you see, but she's a big girl now, she can do this. So she gets out of bed and she goes and investigates, but she can't find the source of the tapping sound. A little bit freaked out, she comforts with her dog, the dog's like, <sighs> you know, and it gets her back to sleep again. But then she wakes up again, and the tapping sound is gone. And she's, what's going on? And the dog's whining, and she's like, oh, it's okay. And the dog licks her hand, and she's comforted again, and she falls back asleep. And then uh, she wakes up again, and she's hearing the tapping sound, tap, tap, tap. And she's so scared now, and she decides to get out of bed. She's I have to find this, it's gonna drive me crazy. And she goes into the hallway and she sees beneath her bathroom door, this light is just flooding out from beneath it. She doesn't remember ever going in the bathroom in the night. She turned off all the lights before she went to bed. And so with a shaking hand, she grabs it, flings the door open. The bathroom's just all full of light, but there's no one in there. So she goes in and the tapping sound is louder. And she notices that the shower curtain has been pulled. And so with a hand, she just flings it open, and she, she sees there her dog hanging there, blood dripping down, and there on the wall saying, humans can lick too. <laughs> <laughs> so you may be wondering why I just did all of that and freaked you out a bit. Um, what I'm talking about to you today is the power of storytelling and how it shapes our world. So what you just heard right now is a common campfire story, um, just to freak out children and whatnot. Um, but when I was a child growing up, my family, we were so into stories. We would have books upon books, shelves filled. We'd have movies everywhere. And I just always dared to imagine, and my parents supported me in that. And I always loved to just travel in the shoes of another character for a while and explore new worlds. Um, and then one day when I was in my communications class, we came across this theory called the narrative paradigm theory. And this just really fascinated me about, it's about storytelling. Um, it was discovered by Walter Fishers, and he says that humans are storytellers by nature. Um, he believes that we love to explain the world and how, what our experiences and our lives are. And if you look around today, we do it every day. We are on Facebook, we tweet, we're doing it now. We're telling our own types of lives and stories that you never knew. Um, and then he also wanted to stress that people's minds and decisions can be changed through stories. Um, so when you guys were listening to me telling that horror story, did you ever feel like you were just all focused and um, you were immersed within the story for a while? Would you say so? Yeah, that's the power of stories. They can connect with you in a way. Um, but what I want to stress is that today in our society, science and logic um, are a very key component today and they're dominant because it's true knowledge and it can be proven. And so lots of theorists have said that humans like to think rationally um, or logically, which is not true, Fisher says anyways. He says that we're all storytellers and that we like to make decisions based on good reasons. So maybe what good reasons are to you is just based upon your past, your experiences, what's your culture, um, what's your own character, who's your personality. Um, so what you decide is good reasons is all up to you. Um, and then also stories, they call upon our own values, our beliefs, our emotions, our experiences. So it's all very personal to you. Maybe you were able to reflect with the girl as she was traveling through her horrifying, horrifying night. Um, but if you look at it, people will always choose or agree with ideas that relate to them. So you know how in political campaigns, um, people will always be trying to persuade you to something. 
and some might be giving you the cold hard facts, but they don't always relate to you. But think about Barack Obama or Hillary Clinton, and sometimes when they're giving their speech, they'll be giving you the facts, and then all of a sudden they'll start talking about their own lives, or they'll give you a story about their friend, and they'll try to relate it to you in some way, and it connects with you, and it persuades you to choose their side. So that is a very powerful component of storytelling um, that you may not all realize. And then also, people are always telling stories. And we think of our lives, our lives are actually just stories. That's what they are. And the whole world is a set of stories. And we choose the ones that we want to be in. So whether you want romance or action adventure, just the normal type of life, you're choosing what you want. And when you choose a story, it influences how you live your life. So, for an example, when we're kids and we read these stories like Harry Potter, I know I was just, I wanted so bad for that world to be true. And then when I turned 11 and I didn't receive a letter, I was so devastated. <laughs> um, but that's just it. We, we choose our lives and it influences us how we live them. So, when you ever hear a story, think about how is it persuading you? How is it influencing your life and is it making you choose a specific story and also think what story are you living think about that